สวัสดีค่ะ Since winning the election back in 2010, the government of President Deng s i n g of Myanmar has applied various reforms, such as releasing Aung San Suu Kyi and inviting her back into the political stage, as well as releasing political prisoners and seeking ceasefire deals with ethnic minority groups. But what are we to make of all of these changes? I discuss these issues with the editor and founder of the Irrawaddy magazine, Aung Sa. Aung Sa, you just got back from Myanmar, the first trip in 24 years. What was your impression of your own country? Well, Burma has changed a lot. Uh, I still call it Burma, and uh, I used to. Uh, the people these days call it Myanmar. And uh, I came from Rangoon 24 years ago, uh, when country was in commotion. Uh, you know, bloods on the streets, student protest, and uh, anarchy, fear. Uh, at the time, I left my country, and now I'm back to Burma. And government gave me a visa, five days journalist visa. So I was very happy to be back there. But uh, in my dreams, I always go back to my country. For Rangoon, what are the changes that you have observed? <coughs> well, I think. Uh, People become more of a service-oriented, and we know, you know, in Thailand, you know, people wherever you go, the Thai people will greet you with the sawadee, you know. Right. And uh, in, in in Myanmar or in Burma, uh, in the classroom, we usually uh, welcome our teachers with the mingala ba. Mm -hmm. And uh, but now it's become a, it's very common on the streets, and that's a very big change to me. Which is which is a bit of change. We become more service. They are welcome. They are looking to what's uh, more visitor, more tourist friendly mm -hmm. atmosphere. They're trying to create it. Uh, but also people more open, and the people become more outspoken. But also, I feel very sad. One thing. Uh, one, my driver passed through the uh, uh, our university, Rangoon University, mm -hmm. where we used to study. Where we, where we used to study, why, where we used to have a, a, you know, a thought to to bring down the government and a revolution, mm -hmm. uprising. It was in 24, 25 years ago, underground movement. The buildings stand in the tall bushes, dilapidated bu buildings. Nobody care. And I, I, I walk in there one night uh, during the uh, Joseph Stiglitz uh, reception. He was there. And a lot of professors and uh, a lot of uh, intellectual, Burmese, uh, Burmese intellectual, uh, they were very surprised to see me and they all came back and welcomed me. And, and, uh, but, but each table I sit and listen, pay attention to them, I felt that they have a doubt. They have a very strong reservation towards uh, these political changes. Mm. You know, and these are uh, uh, Burmese intellectual, educated Burmese class, and they ask me to wait and see. You know, uh, this is very interesting to, to hear from them. And why Burmese intellectuals feel <coughs> reserved about the changes? They're very uh, doubtful, mm, uh, they're very resentful. Uh, uh, towards uh, these changes. Uh, they still think it's only on the surface, uh, very much cosmetic. Mm -hmm. and at, one store, at one restaurant I enter, mm -hmm. and uh, the restaurant owner, and she grabbed me uh, and spoke to me in English, and she asked me, what do you think of these current political changes? Mm -hmm. And I asked her back, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, well, just a show business. She said, so, wow, I said, I was, I was very stunned um, uh, because I also uh, met and saw a lot of people who think change is uh, really moving forward. It's not going to make a U-turn. Uh, it's going to be uh, irreversible. So I, I think uh, I have a mixed feelings. I also had met a lot of uh, senior officials in Nipido, so they convinced me that uh, they're trying to convince me that things are going to move more forward. So you do really believe that things are really changing, not only on the surface for Burma. Well, I think I don't want to wait and see, 
I want to engage and see. I want to write and see as a journalist. And I maintain my cautious optimism on Burma, this current progress. Because I'm one of the one of the strong critics of the regime, the past regime, as well as the current government. Uh, because I felt that they are more or less the same. But under the current government, there has been rapid changes taking place since last year. Uh, the meeting with Aung San Suu Kyi and the release of uh, political prisoners, the president's decision to suspend the uh, China-funded uh, Nisong Dam projects. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are moving forward. Uh, I think uh, I think president is sincere. Uh, moreover, he is willing to listen. It's not a top-down approach. So there's a new dynamic in the government in, in, uh, in Burma that we should exploit it, this space. Uh, this, the space is much, I think, uh, open. We used to have a very small space. Mm -hmm. And so I think if you ask me whether there's end of light at the end of the tunnel, I think there is a light in the tunnel. 